morning. Welcome to Research One. I am Sir Jelby, your virtual research teacher. Once again, welcome to another lesson in Research One Quarter Three, Sampling and the Statistics. This video is a combination of Module 2 and 4 since they are related to each other. I am Mark Angelbert Bidelai and you can find me at JelbyPH. Sampling Scientific observations are systematic and carefully planned. Before any actual observation is made, we decide what subject is to be observed, how it will be observed, and when will it be observed. Research variables the decision on what to observe depends on the problem being investigated. There are many variables to watch and observe. This requires that in the research design of the problem being investigated, all relevant factors must be specified. The researcher must be knowledgeable about variables. Types of variables Independent versus dependent variable If a variable is manipulated such that its values are, are chosen and set by the researcher, it is called an independent variable. Its value is independent of the behavior of the subject. The behavior or change in characteristic of the subjects that is recorded during experimentation is variable. It is referred to as the dependent variable. If there is an existing relationship between the two variables, then the value of the dependent variable will depend to some extent on the change done on the level of the independent variable. Extraneous variable. When we do an experimental research, there may be variables which may affect the behavior or characteristics of the experimental subjects that we are investigating, even though we are not concerned with those variables in the present study. These variables are called extraneous variables. Extraneous variables have to be controlled in order to eliminate their effect on the subject's behavior or characteristics. Continuous versus discrete variables. There are two types of variables based on the values of measurement. Variables may either be continuous or discrete. Continuous variables are those that take fractional values. Examples are length and weight of tomatoes. Discrete variables are those that assume fixed or exact amounts and have no values in between whole exact numbers or in between fixed points in a continuum. Definition and Types of Sampling A population is the totality of all values of a particular characteristic for a specified group of subjects that are of interest to the researcher. We may call the elements in the population units or subjects. A sample is a finite portion of a population that will be used or investigated in the study. Sampling is the process of choosing a representative portion of a population. Type of sample. A sample is being selected from a population according to some rule or plan. There are two types of samples, the probability sample and the non-probability sample. When the selection of items is done according to some chance mechanism, where the elements have an equal chance of being selected, we have a probability sample. On the other hand, Items selected by judgment where elements do not have an equal chance of being taken are, not co are called non-probability samples. Sampling methods The simple random sampling is a process of selecting a sample from a set of all sampling units or a population such that each sampling unit is a given chance of being included in the sample. In doing this, we obtain a simple random sample that is representative of the population and not biased in any way. Stratified random sampling is used when the population is made up of groups of items with different characteristics. It consists of selecting a sample random sample for each group into which the population has been subdivided. This is done so that the stratum size in the sample is proportional to the population. Cluster sampling Cluster sampling is one of the most economical ways of obtaining a sample for a survey. It consists of selecting clusters of units in a population and then obtaining a simple random sample of these clusters. In some instances, the appropriate sampling unit may not coincide with the unit from which the measurement of a property or characteristic is to be made. In this case, 
a simple random sample of the N1 units from each population can be taken. From each of the selected N1 units, a simple random sample of N2 subunits can be taken. The total number of subunits can then become N1 and N1, and this procedure is a two-stage sampling with clusters as primary sampling unit and or flowers as secondary sampling unit. These methods can be extended to three or more stages, hence it is called multi-stage sampling. Sometimes, a sample is seemingly hard to obtain. In cases like this, some researchers resort to obtaining samples which are easily accessible. This type of sample is called convenient sampling because the sample is convenient to obtain. Data collection and organization. An array is an arrangement from highest to lowest or from lowest to highest. In an ungrouped frequency distribution, Data scores are arranged from highest to lowest, and the frequency of occurrence of each score is indicated. This is also called a single value grouping. In a group frequency distribution, the data are grouped into categories or classes, also called class intervals. Scores are assigned to mutually exclusive classes, which are defined in terms of grouping intervals employed. A score in the sample belongs to one and only one class interval mean. Average number found by adding all data points and dividing by the number of data points is called mean. Median. The middle number found by ordering all data points and picking out the one in the middle or if there are two middle numbers, taking the mean of those two numbers. Mode. The most frequent number that is the number that occurs the highest number of times. Range. The range is the simplest measure of variability to calculate and one you have probably encountered many times in your life. The range is simply the highest score minus the lowest score. Thank you so much. If you have questions, feel free to send me a message at gelbph. That's all for this day. If you have any questions, follow me at the following. Thank you.